Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with another video on Nikkei Goddess of Victory. So the next collaboration is coming out very very soon, so I made this. Is life even worth living? And all that I see is gray Should I keep on breathing? Or fall in the deep dark space? They say things get better Just hold your time and wait But it feels like we're waiting forever so that is just a short little edit that I decided to put. I will be doing that throughout the near collaboration. Any videos I make on Nikkei Goddess of Victory, I'm going to include that short video at the start. Anyways, so what we're going to be doing in today's video is taking a look at the short descriptions for the character skills so that we can basically get a small idea on what the character actually do, does and to see whether the character is going to be good so this is the only information we have currently right now on what the character can do so i'm going to be trying to you know break it down understand the skills and hopefully build up more hype for the near collaboration i am extremely excited especially knowing that they're giving out free skins a bunch of free summons as well i am extremely extremely excited so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more content on uh, nikki goddess of victory if you guys enjoyed this video or you like my little edits go ahead and click the like bit um, like button it's been your boy ac gamer let's get right into it so we do have the patch note right now in the game which contains all the stuff is cut that is coming out to the game for the september 1 update but before that, before that oh actually no let's ignore that and just go ahead to 2b so the first character they told us about what they do is for 2b so 2b is a new new special character obviously she's going to be an abnormal character she's an ssr unit um ssr 2b the android from yoha joins limited time recruitment 2b possesses the power ability sorry to increases to increase her attack in proportion to her final max hp whenever she uses her burst skill uh, her max hp increases and boosts her attack in turn so her class is a defensive character she is an ar unit and her code is fire now i will say i was not really expecting defense but however from the skill it looks like she's not only going to be a defense unit she looks like she might be able to output decent amount of damage well it depends on the percentage or the scaling of the attack based on the hp so if scaling off the hp i don't mind that it means that she will be protected however is it really that easy to build hp for characters actually um let me quickly go ahead and check so i believe like gears go like hp attack hp oh no, no there's no hp in here there's hp in here and there's hp in here as well actually let's take a look at this what type of stats can we get is there any hp stats uh is there a way to check check there we go so no there's no hp guys and obviously there is attack so i don't really like that I'm, i mean getting more hp is gonna be hard i feel like they should probably add hp stat now into the um into the tier uh into this type of gear you know um overload gear because yeah if the characters are going to be scaling off the hp now we need to have a way to make sure that we can scale their hp even higher um but yeah okay so with the new character uh 2b possesses the ability to increase her attack in proportion to her max hp so basically hp is her main friend um also if she's going to be dealing a lot of damage then it looks like ammo increasing the ammo capacity of her weapon is going to be the best thing for her as well she is an ar unit so that is fine um whenever she uses a burst the max hp increases so it's a buff to her hp and it looks like it's a selfish buff it doesn't say buff any other character so is she going to be a burst free character it looks like she might be a burst free guys because all of the skills are selfish there's nothing really helping out the team so in that case maybe she's a burst free but the way they make her sound like a defensive unit i'm worried it might make her into a burst two character as well so i don't know i don't know which burst um i want this character to be actually it doesn't tell us whether she's a burst one or burst two usually they tell us actually where is this ar defensive they don't tell us anything wow okay that is very very surprising um let's go back and take a look at the other character that is coming out a2 
so scrolling down to 80 oh by the way yeah, this is a limited time recruitment banner so once it's gone it's gone guys i don't think they're ever going to do a rerun we haven't even gotten a rerun for the standard characters in the game so come on guys you understand this is exclusive characters that you must get right now before uh before it's too late so a2 taking a look at her skills so a2 is a object well, objective destroy machine life force um life form sorry ssr a2 the prototype android model specializing in close range attack joins limited time recruitment she's definitely going to be a main damage dealer so a2 attack large groups of enemies so aoe by wielding a huge sword oh wait she uses a blade guys Oh yeah, I saw the picture. I thought they're gonna make it like a burst animation changes her weapon into a blade. But it looks like straight off she's a blade character. This this is the second character that uses a sword. The first one being um being Scarlet. Now we have our second blade character. You know what? I'm actually kind of surprised they went with A2 to give her the blade. I thought they would actually give 2B the uh the blade ability, but okay. So large A, I think this character might actually be good. A2 might potentially be better than 2B, which is weird. Um, A2 attacks large groups of enemy by wielding a huge sword and releasing shockwaves. Yeah, I think, okay. After you, she uses her burst skill, mode B, uh, that's the name of the burst skill, I think. Her HP will decrease periodically, but her skill attributes, uh, doesn't, why is it cut off? Wait, let me scroll down to this. Uh... Periodically, but her skill attribute will rise, allowing her to unleash massive power. Yeah, I think A2 might be better than, uh, than, uh, what's it called, 2B. Because A2 is just straight damage dealing, and she, she has a wee ability, and she reminds you of a lot of Scarlet. Um, she is an attacker ca class character, she is a type 40 blade, she is a fire code character, she's abnormal, um yeah maybe scarlet and her can work perfectly fine together you know um i'm actually extremely excited for 2a now even though i feel like 2b might be the best i'm not best might be the main favorite of many people now also 2b is coming first they're not releasing both banners at the same time simultaneously no it's 2b first and i feel like they know that a2 might be the better one to go for but they've released 2b since she's a fan favorite but then they'll make 2 um a2 be the best character and then everyone has gone hard um, summoned so hard for 2b and when a2 comes out and a lot of people realize she's actually good a lot of people might be like wow i use all my resources then it's gonna cause them to start spending in the game now i really do hope that all of these characters are good we've suffered from limited characters being garbage they have realized we don't want that so making sure limited characters are good is obviously amazing now i'm not one i don't really want them to break the meta because once they're gone they're gone and everyone who wants to enter the game will feel left out if they can't pull this unit so i do hope those characters are good and i do think they do sound good especially a2 simply because the attack is going to be absolutely it sounds amazing um obviously the percentage of her skills are also very very important in ensuring she is good and when it comes to 2b i also think she is going to be a great character maybe the best for pvp actually because she scales off hp the only real issue i have is that overload gear don't really give you any hp um, stats so maybe they will give us a way to increase hp for the character as well in the future maybe they'll have an update for overlord in the future to help her out so if it turns out that um eight um, 2b isn't the greatest because obviously her hp doesn't scale that high or maybe the hp right now um there's no way to increase her hp you don't know in the future they might buff up overload and increase more include more stats in it to overall help her out so it's definitely a bit worth getting both these characters now if you guys are interested in the sr character as well let's go ahead and take a look at the skill so the character is called pascal um machine life force or life form that pursues peace i won't hurt you pascal is a machine life force form that specializes in restoring hp oh all of his skills are related to HP restoration and he's also equipped with a rocket launcher capable of continuous firing. Continuous meaning it doesn't stop. Is this going to be our first SR unit that is good? I feel like the skill sounds pretty good, uh, especially for PvP, restoring HP. Um, maybe if you guys are running out of healers and you didn't, didn't summon for some of the SSR healers, this is a great character to go for or to have, sorry. 
uh we're getting new costumes and whatnot um but yeah that's what i wanted to focus on in today's video we are getting two new three new characters all of them sound pretty good in my opinion and i'm extremely excited for that uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video stay tuned for more content on near uh, near collaboration for nikkei um it's been your boy ac gamer don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm out